the summit happened. And for all the blessings you have bestowed on us individually, to our respective companies and the PASI organization. As we embark on another year, we seek your infinite wisdom to guide our national leaders and us in the auto industry to realize that elusive dream of a vibrant industry that would benefit our nation and its people. Help us, Divine Master, as we, the stakeholders, struggle together along the road to prosperity. Make us the vehicle of peace and progress as we offer to you our collective efforts, sacrifices, and triumphs. As we encounter the still many challenges for our country and the auto industry in particular, let us find comfort in the prayer of St. Francis. Where there is doubt, faith, where there is despair, hope, where there is darkness, light. Finally, bless our food for this evening as we conclude the third Philippine Automotive Manufacturing Summit. Amen. Honorable Under Secretary Adrian Cristobal Jr. of the Department of Trade and Industry, Honorable Director General Lilia de Lima of the Philippine Economic Zone Authority, Honorable Edgardo Abon, Chairman Tariff Commission, Dr. Tomas Aquino of the University of Asia and the Pacific, Mr. Norio Usui of Asian Development Bank, Dr. Rafaelita Aldaba of the Philippine Industry Development Studies. Mr. Vicente Mills, President of Philippine Automotive Federation and ASEAN Automotive Federation. PASI President, Mr. Michinobu Sugata. MVP MAP President, Mr. Ferdinand Raquel Santos. Campi President, Attorney Romel Gutierrez. Colleagues in PASI and MVP MAP, and participants from the other associations, participants from government, our friends from the media, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant good afternoon. Welcome to the third Philippine Automotive Manufacturing Summit. It is Great to see so many familiar faces today as we come together for our third Auto Summit. Thank you for joining us on this milestone occasion. As I recall, I stood before many of you three years ago in the same venue, welcoming the participants to our first Auto Summit. When PASI was established in 2009, our members brought together industry stakeholders with summit aptly theme as vehicle and parts manufacturing industry. Setting the direction for our industry and place great focus on capacity building. The findings and recommendations of Deloitte to government were also presented to the industry that paved way for the issuance of the new motor vehicle development program in mid-2010. The second summit in 2010, with the theme of Partners in Action in Strengthening the Automotive Support Industry, emphasized the importance of collaborative partnership between the parts manufacturers and vehicle manufacturers. A display of locally produced vehicles and parts highlighted the capability of our Philippine industry. Today, as we continuously drive our efforts to promote domestic manufacturing in the country, we once again organize this important gathering of various stakeholders, vehicle manufacturers, parts manufacturers, policy makers, regulatory bodies, foreign organizations, and the media. 
with the primary objective of information sharing as well as a presentation of plans together with various industry and government leaders to strengthen local manufacturing viability and keep our industry in vibrant mode. The success of the Philippine automotive manufacturing industry is aligned to the Philippine Development Plan of 2011 to 2016 because it will contribute to the plan targets for inclusive growth, such as reducing poverty incidence, increase employment, increase investment, and improve GDP growth rate. We have lined up six speakers for this afternoon. Our PASI president, Mr. Michinoko Sugata, will report the 2011 industry results as well as the forecast for the year. Mr. Norio Osui, senior country economist from Asian Development Bank, will tell us why the Philippines need an industrial plan and the importance of manufacturing in the economy. We are also honored and fortunate to have Director General Lee Delima to speak to us on how we can harness the capability of auto parts manufacturing in the eco zones and integrate them in the domestic supply chain. Pasi's friend, Ms. Pita Aldava, will give us her strategic policy recommendations for government and auto industry. The president of PAFI and concurrently the president of the ASEAN Automotive Federation, Mr. Vicente Mills, will discuss a blueprint for growth for our industry that is ready to be presented to government. As you know, the DTI BOI is seeking the private sector's active participation in crafting a strategic roadmap for key industries. Dr. Tomas Aquino will facilitate a discussion with the resources speakers and give you the chance for a question and answer. To introduce our keynote speaker will be the president of Ford Group Philippines, Mr. Randy Krager. We are honored and fortunate to have with us this afternoon as our keynote speaker, the Honorable Edgian Cristobal Jr., the Undersecretary of the Department of Trade and Industry. After our conference, please stay with us tonight for an opportunity to unwind, socialize, and network with us, other and uh, with each other, and serve as an avenue to share our individual thoughts on how we can work together to further increase the competitiveness of our country. To all of us, thank you for being here. Welcome and enjoy the day. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Tony Torres. And as you may have heard from Mr. Torres, we have a whole lineup of very interesting topics for the rest of the afternoon. But before anything, I would like to present to you the first official video of PASI. This is a video about the advocacy of making the Philippines the next automotive manufacturing hub in the ASEAN region. So let's watch the video, please. economic growth 